Hey, I'm Alec O'Hanley. I'm Molly Rankin from Always, and this is What's in Our Bag. My first pick is Margot Gurian's uh, 29 Demos. Uh, at last, a follow-up to take a picture. Her heralded record she didn't want to tour, but it's got a bunch of tunes I'm familiar with. What Can I Give You, Sunday Morning. Uh, her demos sound way better than most people's real songs. Why do I cry on a Sunday morning? Okay, this record is by Martin Newell, and it's called the Off-White Album. He is the lead singer of Cleaners from Venus, a band I love, and he's super prolific. I'm not exactly sure how he sifts through what he does and what makes it as a Cleaners from Venus album or a solo thing, but I'm excited to hear this. I'm using this exercise as a learning process. The first fire, you sigh. Next up, I got some mid-era gourd, uh, Endless Wire, mainly for the version of uh, The Circle is Small, which is about a Toronto circular apartment building he lived in, and uh, there was some circular relationship going on within the uh, confines of the edifice. It's very good, really nice slow phaser pervades. Yeah, hell of a record. Mmm, look what I found. Oasis, be here now. A hot button topic for Oasis fans and rock fans, but I believe it's great. And uh, I look forward to the comment section. I have a uh, Judy Collins, Judith. Um, Kind of getting some one track purchases here. This is mainly for Not the Moon is a Harsh Mistress, but uh, Send in the Clowns. Uh, classic Sondheim tune. Devastating. Probably better than the Sinatra version, I would contend. I like it. I thought that you'd want what I want. Sorry, my dear. I found this TV personalities album. Mummy, you're not watching me. I love Dan Tracy, if he's out there, hi. Keep doing what you're doing. There's a lot of gems on here though. Painting by Numbers, beautiful song. And I just love the collage. Is that him? Who knows? My next pick is Nick Lowe's. Jesus of Cool, known domestically as Wireless World, uh, due to censorship in the 70s, I presume. Some haughty Puritans got their claws on this one. Heart of the City, good ripper. They called him Basher for his ability to uh, bash songs out in the studio uh, with Elvis Costello and The Damned and others. Um, so yeah, this is his first record. Slinging some double bass and a few different tellies. Very cool. So I don't actually know anything about this other than the singer from Kleenex, slowly put, uh, is involved. It's called 123. It says, they sport an impressive heritage, but they're also creating something that's unique and proudly their own. Spooky, danceable, subtle, compelling music for a post-pandemic world. So it's recent, and uh, I'm excited for some spook. Perfect illusion of pleasure, lifestyle check, it's a real nightmare. My next step is uh, the Who Sellout, recently reissued, but a tattered $10 version is good enough for me. They're in full camp mode on this one, but uh, amazing songs. Uh, first track, Armen Armenia in the Sky, or as they pronounce it, Armenia. Good smirk on, uh, on old... Uh, Townsend on this one. Kind of created a genre a little bit, just sort of the madcap commercial jingle record a little bit, um, but great tunes. $3 purchase, 
Celine Dion, Falling Into You, one of my favorite records growing up. I don't think even, like I was given this record as a placeholder because Jagged Little Pill was too controversial at the time for a young girl, but there's some sensual themes on this album. I mean, it's all coming back to me now. You start a record with that, it's gonna be a hit. Falling Into You, I remember playing with all my little dog figurines to this album every day, so thank you, Celine. I grabbed Enya's first uh, CD. Um, I'll have to get a CD player when I get home. Quite beautiful stuff on here. Caribbean Blue, How Can I Keep From Singing, Molly's Uncle uh, Seamus really, really loves Enya. That's true, he's Irish. He's a ruddy Irish dude, and he says, man, I fucking love Enya. <laughs> uh, and I fucking love Enya, too. <laughs> This is a very thick, robust version of the Falls Bend Sinister. I'm not sure what makes it so heavy. I think there are, um, let's see, it's remastered. Newly transferred from analog tapes. Includes replica program of the Riverside production of Hey Luciani. I don't know. I'm a big fan of, uh, of the fall and uh, this is probably my favorite record from them, so I'm happy to finally get it on wax. Classical nerd pick, uh, Beethoven sonatas, one through 10. Uh, you rarely see them organized sequentially, so I'm gonna start at the top. When I go classical, I like to keep it minimalist piano. Um, and this is that, I hope. Let's see what Schnabel has to, to offer on the ivories. I grabbed the Birds' Greatest Hits. In our band, we spent a long time arguing over when a 12-string guitar should be included on a song, but it seems like they had it figured out. Um, I can't tell if David Crosby is wearing a hat or if that's just his fluffy hair, which also is something I really loved. Their songs are sort of cloud parting and could be put on at any time, and just it, it transports you into this happy place. I would not uh, put uh, pass it up to grab this so cheap, and it's old. Someone loved it and owned it. Those are our picks. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for shopping with us today. Yeah, thanks for having us.